gentleman from the 43rd. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When I read about this resolution, one of the concerns I have is that in the history of this country, we have never amended the Constitution by a convention of states. Even though the process has been tried numerous times, it hasn't happened. All 27 amendments have been passed by Congress. Now, a concern I have about this resolution is that historically, the best way we create reform is to start at the most local levels of our government and test and get consensus there. Then move to the state levels and then to the federal level. The most successful period of reform in this country's history occurred in the early 1900s. It's when we saw the greatest number of changes take place to correct the society we saw had fallen by the side. Now, I also have some skepticism about a convention of states and what they're commissioned to do. The Constitution was written by a group of delegates who were commissioned by the Annapolis Convention of the Articles of Confederation, which when the states had the authority and there was no federal government, it was authority granted to the states, they granted a group of states to get together to settle Shays right, th uh, um, disagreements about Shays Rebellion and about the uh, rights along the Potomac River. They couldn't agree. So they commissioned a convention of states to go to Philadelphia in 1787 to revise the Articles of Confederation. What happened when they got there? These 55 men came to Philadelphia. They locked themselves in Constitutional Hall. They put guards by the door. They put uh, sand on the streets to muffle the cobblestone sounds. They agreed to scrap what they were sent to do and write a new constitution, those three pages that are our government today, which we could say probably was a good thing. But they didn't follow the guidelines they were sent there to do. Think of what Fox News, CNN, MNNBC would do today if a convention of states commissioned to do something would go, put guards at the door, not, not talk to the press, how we would view that today. That's how we got our Constitution. I can also tell you another example, a convention of states of New England during the War of 1812. They called themselves the Hartford Convention. They opposed the War of 1812 right from the very beginning because it affected their trade. And they call it Mr. Madison's War. And they refused to send troops to support the war. And so they sent a delegates to Washington, D.C. The day they arrived, it was announced Andrew Jackson had won the Battle of New Orleans. It stole their thunder of their grievances against the federal government and promoted the patriotism that I talked about today. And by the way, these Federalists were a party that would die out shortly after because they were seen out of touch with the public. The same thing happened in 1850 as this country debated its growing pains as we moved west. The Nashville Convention was held. Almost all southern states met to air their grievances against the North and its growing industrial power and its population base growing. It's only the Compromise of 1850 that destroyed the Hartford, that destroyed this convention and took away their thunder and they quickly died out. So you see, all the convention of states 
And I could go through more, but my staff always tells me I can't talk too long because I get into a history lesson and I can't stop. And so, so I have to keep it short. But I want, I want, the bottom line is, if we have this convention of states, I haven't seen who's going to appoint the delegates from each state. So in Wisconsin, if we have a convention of states, because we have a Democratic governor and a Republican legislature, does it mean that we're going to have 10 Democratic delegates and 10 Republican delegates? I haven't seen that spelled out. And I'm not so concerned. I'm concerned that if we send this convention of states together, are they going to follow the specific guidelines? We've seen history has shown that that has not happened. And so for, this re for the reasons I gave is... I cannot support this resolution. The vote is no. Thank you.